What's going on, beautiful people? It is I, your flying locomotive, and faster than a speeding bullet supercliff. Coming at you live with a brand new video. And for today's majestic and fantastic video, we are hitting the final chapter, folks. The final part to this Metallo Cyborg Superman arc with Action Comics, issue number 1056. And yes, I'm fully aware how late I am with this. <laughs> Not sorry. But before we dive into the action and justice of DC, if you are new to the channel, then smash that like and subscribe button. That way you guys never miss out on anything that happens on this majestic channel. So what are you waiting for? Let's raise the bar and go full on Super Saiyan. Hit that subscribe button. With us without further ado, let's dance with Action Comics issue number 1056. So our story starts off with action as the Superman family and Metallo are teaming up and fighting off Cyborg Superman and a now cybernetic Tracy Corbone, who of course is being controlled by Cyborg Superman himself. Not only that, but the rest of the Superman family are battling it out over in A-Town against an army of Necro drones. Now remember, given the fact Cyborg Superman's actual mind is trapped in the Phantom Zone, his abilities are still active. And so because of the use of the Warball tech and that of Superman's, you know, enhanced powers and Kryptonian tech that's involved and all that, you know, fun stuff, Cyborg Superman is able to do his thing from the Phantom Zone, thus creating himself a new body and an army of Necro drones. So sort of like Ultron, except minus the AI part. And yeah, let's just say this, the fight isn't going well. However, it's here where the Eradicator offers advice, telling our heroes that if you keep destroying the drones, only more will come. But if you kill the source, aka Cyborg Superman's current body, in turn you halt production. And that's exactly what happens. However, it isn't Superman who saves the day, who, you know, gives the final blow. It's Metallo. Though he's a bad guy, at the end of the day, he knows what he is. That's being a weapon. And weapons are used to destroy. Thus, Metallo crushes Cyborg Superman's body. And with it, the Necro drones die off, and the possessed Tracy Corbone is now back in control. Sometime later, we get ourselves a taste of the aftermath following the situation, for things in Metropolis are turning out okay. You know, Superman continues to do his thing, being the Man of Steel, the Superman family is united now more than ever, and both Metallo and Tracy Corbone are taken to Steelworks. Tracy's body is repaired via artificial skin, basically everything that's metal is now covered, while John gets transplanted into a new body. Steel, you know, John Henry Irons, allows Tracy to stay as long as she needs to in order to get used to her new condition and body. While John, despite having saved a day, is still a criminal and has done some, you know, crappy stuff. Thereby, is locked away in the tower sub-basement. However, he did save the day. So, you know, in turn, Steelwork Security allows John to visit Tracy sort of as like, you know, a payment and like, hey, thanks for helping out. Now, from the looks of things, Tracy doesn't seem happy given she feels like a monster like her brother. But in a lovingly way, John tells her that it wasn't becoming Metallo that made him a monster, for it was always a part of him, and that you, Tracy, you're one of the good guys. Aww. But wait, there is more story to be had here, folks, because later that night, we check in at the Blue Earth headquarters, which is located in an abandoned church. Legit, guys, I'm getting X-Men Last Stand vibes, but with good writing. <laughs> That's right, shots fired. Anyway, it's here where a teen goth girl tells everyone that Backlash is growing against Superman and the radical change he brought to Metropolis via the World War refugees, you know, aka A Town. Thus, it's here where this little goth version of Arya Stark <laughs> tells her followers that by tomorrow night, Superman will be a mass murderer and Blue Earth will be the heroes that Metropolis needs. And that, folks, was the end of Action Comics, issue number 1056. And thank you guys for checking out my video as it truly, truly means the world to me. Philip Kennedy Johnson delivers another smashing conclusion to another one of his action comics arcs. This arc in particular has loads of character growth, not only with the obvious standout, that being Metallo, but also a good portion for the members of the Superman family. The twins are shown adapting to Earth and that of Superman's world, how much their adopted father means to the people of the planet, and we get a sense of closure when it comes to John Kent feeling left out of the main family considering, you know, he's the lowest in Clark's biological son. But it's not done in the way that feels like an episode of CW, or it feels like, you know, forced in a sense. It felt organic and like, yeah, I would feel some of that feeling as well. So I definitely appreciated that. But legit, Metallo was without a doubt the standout to this arc. You know, he isn't just some bad guy, you know, in a General Grievous-esque body fueled with kryptonite. He's a person, a guy with trauma, 
but despite the horror that comes with Metallo, he has a heart. He loves his sister. Therefore, he is human. My only issue with the comic is the fact that the way it's all wrapped up, you can definitely feel like it was rushed, no fault to the creators at all, but more so with the mandate with regards to the event Night Terrors. Overall, despite that one issue I had, the story manages to wrap up very nicely without it feeling jarring, and the comic sets up the next arc with the little goth girl, thus adding intrigue for future issues. Basically, Night Terrors needs to end so we can get into that story arc effective immediately. So yeah, as always, I'm your majestic sayer over at Supercliff, and if you guys are new to the channel, then do me a solid by smashing that like and subscribe button, and also the notification bell so you'll never miss out on an upload, and so you'll always be kept up to date with your favorite top tier comics happening in the comic book world. Now tell me, what are your thoughts and opinions on this issue? Are you guys excited for issue number 1057? Let me know down in the comment section below, and until the next video, peace, giggity goo.